what's up? Matt Byrne from Hatebreed here. Welcome to our humble abode. Come on up. Let me give you the grand tour. This is the front lounge. This is where we spend a lot of our time. Uh, just hanging, chilling, you know, watching TV. We got two TVs here. So no matter where you're sitting, you're constantly watching something. The bus is a slide out. Right now it's not slid out. This this side of the bus actually slides out about three, four feet to give us a little more room and this whole area kind of turns into a bigger living room. So, you know, when people are sitting on the benches like this, you're not tripping over each other's feet and stuff like that. So typically there is a little more space up here, um, but because of the parking situation today, we're parked on the street. You can't exactly have the slide out, out, truck will come by, take the side of the bus off. Can't have that. Yeah, it's like a little lounge. Uh, really messy right now. Dudes have been cooking and just kind of, you know, killing time during the day. Um, so yeah, we got our coffee maker. We got the old form in here and we got a skillet, got a blender. Um, a couple dudes have been making some healthier type of smoothie type drinks and stuff like that. Try to keep healthy on the road. Uh, we like to cook some of our own food, um, go to the grocery store and just buy like Instead of like all the processed stuff and high fat stuff, we like to buy like some healthier meats and stuff like that, sometimes some organic stuff. And uh, we have the means to cook it up here ourselves, so you're not getting a lot of the fat and the oils and all that stuff if you go out to eat all the time. So this is like the closest thing we can come to to a home cooked meal, being on the road. We got the, uh, the hot water steamer here, drinking tea, stuff like that, organic teas couple guys on here are into that type of thing. Um, coffee's always the necessity, of course. We even got a little toaster over there, in case you want some uh, some toasted sandwich or something like that. Um, up in these cabinets, there's random stuff. You know, it's like where we keep all our food, cups, soups, things like that. Everybody kind of writes their name on their stuff, what's theirs, so, you know, late night eating binge or something, you're not shredding someone else's food. But uh, yeah, it's kind of unorganized, it's kind of messy. What do you want? There's 10 people riding on one bus, man. Not everything's gonna be clean and, and proper all the time. Got the old bathroom here. Actually, that's pretty clean, considering what it normally looks like, pretty nasty. Yeah, so that's the bathroom. There's another one in the back. Unfortunately, we can't go through the, uh, the bunk alleyway into the back lounge because a couple guys are sleeping, trying to get a nap in before the show. So, um, but I can say the back kind of resembles the front, just on a smaller scale. We got a TV back there, the receiver, DVD player, a uh, couple couches, you know, it's just a lounge area, um, just on a, a smaller version of this. Here we got the old fridge. Same thing, everybody's food is marked with their name and, and whatnot, so uh, you know, you're not eating someone else's stuff. We try to keep it pretty simple. A lot of condiments, milk for the coffee, Always have some OJ around, some fruits, some oranges, you know, stuff like that. Um, if you do go out to eat, you always have your styrofoam container that you shove in there and it gets pushed to the back of the refrigerator and then the food starts to rot and that always smells good. But um, yeah, so that's it. It's kind of simple. Um, it gets messy when you're living on a bus like this for a month or two at a time, but you know, as long as you try to keep on top of the cleaning and make sure nothing's getting too germed up and everything. It's not too bad of a living situation. <laughs>